feeling tonight. It's a beautiful evening out here. Superior in the background, right? Love it, man. I came down over that hill today and I looked out here and said, wow, you guys are blessed. Listen, uh, thank you once again for coming out tonight. Got a bunch of great acts out here tonight. Bunch of my friends. My boy Matt Marr up in here. Listen, about five years ago, I decided that I was gonna read the whole Bible. I mean, I was gonna start, I, you know, I've been a believer since I was 13, like I told you earlier, but I've been around the Word, in the Word, but I never like started at the beginning and read it to the end. So I decided that I was gonna start in Genesis and I was gonna read all the way to Revelation. Not in one sitting, I ain't that crazy. <laughs> I'm reading my third time now, and I just finished Psalms the other day. That's a lot of chapters in that one, man. 150, dog. It's beautiful, though. Anyway, so five years ago, for the first time, I started reading. four weeks into that we decided to read tragedy in our household so I put the Bible down I couldn't keep going I, I didn't have the heart but I kept walking past the Bible and finally one day I just picked it up and I looked up at God I said, I'm going to give you a chance. Imagine telling the God of all creation that you're going to give him a chance. But that's what I told him. And I opened the Bible back up and I started reading. And I learned something as I read. I learned something about relationship. You see, to have a relationship with anyone you got to be talking to them, and they got to be talking to you. you got to be listening to them, and they got to be listening to you. Well, the way I see it, the way God talks to us is through his word. And the way we talk to him is through prayer. So if those two things aren't happening, you have to wonder, do I have a relationship with God at all? And there's some beautiful things that come with having a relationship with the God of all creation. See, I found he makes us these promises. And one of the promises I've been holding on to with everything in me for the last five years is that God promises that if you have a relationship with him, he will never leave you or forsake you. It's a promise from God. What I had to work through, what I had to work through was this. He didn't promise me that hard things wouldn't happen to me. He didn't promise me that I wouldn't face loss. That's not his promise. He promised me that he would never leave me through the hardest of hard, through the most painful, tell you this, he promises you the same. No matter how hard it is for you right now, no matter who's hurt you, God made a promise to you, if you have a relationship with him, he will not leave you. Sometimes it takes a minute to find him. It took me a lot of minutes, a lot of times. But I had to wait. And when I waited and I was patient and I listened, Almost 
took me down last way Life was so good, I'm not so sure we knew what we had I'll never be the same man I'll never feel like I felt before Feel like I felt before It's been a hard year, it almost took me down But when my world broke into pieces with their faith When I cried out to you, Jesus, you made a way for me I may never be the same man
You feel like 